channel or if you're new hi and welcome my name is Megan and welcome to a vlog it's gonna be a little gym vlog I'm gonna take you guys with me to do the newest addition to my workout routine which is a full upper body day so instead of doing push and pull I've been doing back and shoulders on Tuesday and then I have this full upper body day which really is back and chest focus with a like one exercise tricep one exercise bicep and maybe another shoulder exercise so it's kind of random but i've really been enjoying this format and it's great because i'm looking to grow my back especially and also my shoulders so that's kind of the reason for the split and i wanted to make just one dedicated video to this workout just in case you guys didn't want to watch the full week of workouts this will be a nice quicker version and i can chat you guys through the movements i do i just got ready for the gym i'm loving my fit so i'm doing a everyday bra from honor active this this is in patrol blue and then I have the joggers that I'm wearing which are in the color slate blue so it's kind of like a blue on blue moment so I matched my fit with my Apple watch band like how stinking cute is it guys it matches so good I haven't worn my Apple watch in such a long time I don't think I've worn my Apple watch in months and that's like embarrassing to say but it's because once I got my new iPhone I never ended up pairing this Apple watch to the iPhone so it was like paired to my old phone and I forgot my password to the Apple Watch and then I finally am starting to use it again and I want to use it for a few things so it'll be super nifty and so I was like okay let me get a cute new Apple Watch band and pair it to my phone so I finally got that all done and I think I might start filming some workouts on my phone so this will be super helpful for that when I'm in the gym I can just look at it and then I wanted to monitor heart rate activity and stuff and this will help me to do that since sometimes I don't always have my phone in my hand since I already know you guys are gonna ask my Apple Watch case is from Caseify of course honestly I just love Caseify. I now have it for all of my main technology. So I have it for my phone. I have it for my laptop case. I just trust it so much. It is such a good company and they have great practices. I love that they are sustainable. And then I also love that they work so well. I dropped my phone quite a bit and she's all good. So I kind of wanted just like a cute little watch band and they have such fun like patterns as opposed to just plain i also love that it is water and sweat resistant because i for some reason sweat when things are like around my wrists and stuff so it is like waterproof and it's a pretty nice material like it's definitely flexible and bendy but it's still pretty hard shell if that makes sense and so I thought this was so cute and I matched my fit with it today and then I got one more it's just like a cute little smiley face band I love this one so I can't wait to wear it as well but I'm super excited to wear my watch more and have some cute bands to go with it especially for the summer since my arms will be out and I do have a link with Caseify which I'll pop on the screen and pop down below as well if you guys would like to shop some Apple watch bands I'm obsessed I'm all good and I'm all ready to go and now I'm gonna go downstairs and get my pre-workout ready get my morning supplements ready eat a little snack and then we're gonna head to the gym and do this full upper body day slay <laughs> to start off the workout we're going to be doing an incline dumbbell chest press you want to have the bench at an incline either at the one i'm at here or you could even do one lower if you wanted to and then you want to grab some moderate to heavyweight dumbbells here and you're going to lean back on the bench and you want to have your feet flat your butt flat and your shoulder blades back on the bench for three different areas of support you're going to be pressing up from your armpits all the way up and then coming back down nice and controlled throughout you don't want to flare your elbows straight out from your arm so as you guys can see it's coming down at about a 45 degree angle inwards and that is the first movement then we're going to be moving on to another movement that i just recently started adding into my routine very interesting look but very good isolation for the shoulders so here we're going to be doing chest supported lateral raises here what you want to do is you want to have the bench at a place where it can support your chest so as you guys can see this entire movement is only being powered by my arms which is going to be great for isolation of the shoulders what i noticed is going down in weight and going higher reps with a lot better just because of how isolated this is i highly recommend you guys try that out if you move your body a lot and sway a lot when you are doing lateral raises next up we're doing another thing that's a little bit different i always tell you guys in progressive overload sometimes you have to change the variation that you're doing so lat pull downs just traditionally we're getting a little bit boring a little bit old so i wanted to switch it up so here we're going to be doing tempo lat pull downs so what you want to think about doing here is controlling the movement 
all the way on the way down, slight pause at the bottom range, and then controlling it all the way back up. As you guys can see, my muscles are working. This is nice and controlled. And because it's nice and controlled, I'm not doing it for as many reps. So I'm doing five sets. So we're still getting a lot of volume, but we're only doing six reps per set so that you guys can focus on quality on each one. I'm thinking about three seconds down, one second hold, and then two seconds coming back up. Really thinking about squeezing my lats. Then for another lat movement, right after that, we're going into a single arm high to low row. These used to be in my routine quite a bit. I kind of took them out and I'm thinking about adding them back for some single arm work for the lats because like I mentioned in the chest press, sometimes you'll notice from left to right that maybe one arm is stronger than the other. So here we're going to have a neutral grip. When I say neutral, think about making a thumbs up and that's how you're going to hold onto the attachment. You want to be kneeling here so that all of the pull is from your arm and then you're just going to be pulling back towards your hip each rep. Then we're going into my favorite superset to finish off this day, which is going to be a single arm tricep extension into hammer curls. Single arm tricep extensions are great for isolation from right to left. If you feel like when you're doing them, one arm is taking over. I typically notice that my left arm is weaker, so this has been great to work on that muscular imbalance. To begin, what you want to do is think about having your elbow fixed to your side. Your elbow does not move up and down. Your elbow stays fixed to that side. Then you want to have a cable attachment here. Luckily, I have a rope at my gym that is like this, but if you don't, you can just hold on to the end of the cable with nothing on it and pull down that way. You want to hold it in a fist and you're going to pull to straight extension, really flexing that tricep on the bottom portion where it's going to be targeted the most. Then right after you do those, you're going to hop right into some hammer curls. With hammer curls, you want to try to keep your body from swaying too much, keep your core tight, keep your elbows fixed to your side the same way you're doing in the tricep extension, except it's reversed here. So the top of the movement is where you want to squeeze the most and focus on the most because that is where the bicep is fully contracted. And that is it for today's workout. Hi guys. It's like a few hours later. I had a great session. The gym wasn't very busy, which was awesome. And I just wanted to sit down and like chat with you guys and just update you guys on what's new because I have some news, some exciting announcements, just kind of a lot that's changed since the last time I vlogged, which is kind of why I haven't been vlogging. Life has been honestly pretty busy. Okay. So thing number one, that's a little bit random <laughs> is I did end up getting a job in person. I am working part-time. I started this week. So it's been a little bit of a hectic week moving my workout schedule around to kind of accommodate working. I was hired as a personal trainer, but they haven't phased that out in the place that I'm working. So I'm kind of training to also learn how to be a bit of like a rehab specialist helping patients post-operation or just everyday patients with stuff. So it's kind of different <laughs> than what I've been doing. It's definitely interesting to learn. It's definitely stuff that I'm taking notes on because I think it is really important to know how to move and stretch the body and strengthen the body, not with weights, but just in general for the average population. That's been going okay. I've been working half days, Monday, Friday, and then full days, Wednesday. So Wednesday is kind of a lot. I did my first Wednesday yesterday and ideally like I didn't want to work in person. And I think I've mentioned that in like previous, previous vlogs, how I would prefer to work remotely just because working does like take a lot of time out of my day that I could spend doing like the content and coaching and all that other side of stuff but I am giving it a chance because I do want to see if it's something that I could integrate into my routine part-time and balance everything but it's definitely been a long week and hard to do so hopefully that gets better as I go but I just wanted to update you guys on that. Major update number two is so exciting. I took the leap and finally invested in a software for my one-on-one -on -one coaching so as opposed to doing I do a lot of my stuff right now with sheets and stuff like that so clients use like a messaging app to message me and then sheets and then we have calls on google Meet, and it's kind of like a bunch of different things this would kind of integrate everything so it would be an app that has messaging it has abilities to schedule check-ins it has the ability to do macros i don't really plan to do that with a lot of clients but if there is clients that want to do that that's an option there is different trackers so every single day you can track habits you can track your workouts i give you your workouts in app fashion for people who are newer to the gym there's like videos for each workout and there's like a whole video database that I can do for educational purposes. It's just a major level up. It was a big decision because obviously that's an investment into myself and my business. So it was kind of a big decision for me to go with it, but I felt like it was time. It was kind of feeling like it was time for something new, something better. And I think my clients deserve it. And I think it'll help me a lot with time management because it's really tedious to kind of do everything that I've been doing now. Not like unbearably tedious, obviously I've been doing it, but this will allow me to juggle more while also providing top scale service where it's nice and all in one place for my clients and yeah I'm really excited about it I'm just happy and excited
excited to be expanding and investing in myself. It was such a big leap for me to do coaching period. So I feel like I can invest in an app and invest in this and continue to provide just high quality support for people is everything to me. And I've been enjoying coaching so much. It's truly my favorite thing ever. And I have just been loving it. So yeah, that's another update. I've kind of been pretty busy with that, trying to get that all sorted. And then another update is I'll be traveling the next two weekends. I'm so excited. Next weekend, I'm going to Florida to visit my best friend, Katie. You guys have seen her in the vlog. So I'll be going to Sarasota for a few days to celebrate her birthday and then coming back. And then the next weekend, I'm traveling with Honor, which I'm so excited about. We're going back to LA and we're going to be doing the Stronger Together event, which I'm so excited. They've done a few of these now already in London. So I'm excited that it's finally the US's turn to get to see what it's all about. And I think it'll be great to meet a lot of the newer US people because I feel like there's a lot of people who've been signed on recently in the US and Canada that I'm excited to meet in person. Obviously to see the Honor team, I'm super excited to see Chrissy, Elena, everybody. It's going to be such a good time. These trips help me and remind me that there are other people doing what I'm doing and it's really fun and exciting and re-inspiring, which I think is always great. So I'm so excited for all of this stuff, but mainly the traveling is going to be super awesome, but kind of stressful preparing for that because I want to get all my client stuff ready to go before that. But yeah, those are all the major updates that I just wanted to fill you guys in on. And like I said, I will be vlogging the next two weekends of travel that I do, as well as hopefully vlogging a little bit more intra-week. I've been considering possibly doing weekly vlogs like other people do. I'm not sure about that yet because I don't do as much as other people do, but we'll see. That's definitely an option like after my trips. Let me know if you guys would want to see something like that. And then I definitely want to do nutrition and food kind of content on here as well. And yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see, honestly because I've been in a little bit of a rut I feel like because I was pumping out videos so much and now I'm kind of in a rut so I'm excited to like bring them back out hopefully you guys are enjoying the ones that I got up last month like the week workouts and all that stuff but I definitely want to cater to what you guys are looking for so just let me know and I did want to update you guys about the effortless collection because Chrissy and Honor did make a announcement on Instagram but I know not everyone has Instagram so I wanted to make it on here as well to let you guys know in the future for effortless restocks they're not going to be doing big marketing for it so they're not going to say like restock in five days instead they will be sending out a newsletter when they restock so i would recommend that you guys sign up for that i'll have the link down below of where to sign up for the honor newsletter and then also if there's like a product you really want from the effortless collection like let's say you want the sage effortless leggings go in pick your size and hit the email alert as well because then it can email or text you to let you know when it's back in stock and that might also be a good way to know. Obviously, I will keep an eye out. I have the newsletter signed up for and everything, so I'll keep an eye out and try to update you guys. When I see Effortless Stock come back, I do think, I'm pretty sure she said, there's gonna be a restock this month, so it has to be sometime soon, so just keep your eyes open. And like I said, I will try to keep you guys posted, but since now I'm not gonna know like days in advance, it'll kind of just be in the moment, so I recommend you guys also take action so you guys can be first in line for that as well. But yeah, I have my support link always down below. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are loyal supporters, you're the best. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys super soon in another video. Bye!